Welcome to Remnant 2. I found a couple of ways you can farm unlimited number of corrupted luminite crystals even where running solo, because unfortunately the best way to farm and fastest luminite crystals and simulacrums is using a glitch with a group, but if you don't have a group or someone to play with and you prefer to farm them solo, these two methods are the best I've found so far. The first one is using the campaign from the labyrinth, and this is probably a glitch, because after we do specific sequence, we can keep respawning the same aberration we can find here, over and over again, keep killing it and getting corrupted luminite crystals. I found this is probably the most efficient way to run it, teleport in the first ward zone we find in the labyrinth, come to this checkpoint because from here we are closer to the aberration, and follow the route until you get the aberration where you get the melee weapon. If you don't know, you get also a melee weapon, so congratulations. Otherwise, you just have to keep killing the aberration. So this is how we can reset the aberration over and over. There are two ways I found you can do this. First, you have to quit out the game, then you will respawn to the last checkpoint. Then you have to die by either jumping from the ledge or using the liquid essence. Then you simply travel back and kill the aberration. However, in case this doesn't work, there's a second way you can try it. Simply, after you die and you respawn to the crystal, travel to War 13, then log out, relog, fast travel back, and then try to find the aberration because this one of these two options for me, both options work, and I keep getting the aberration by using one or the other. This is by far the fastest way to get corrupted luminite crystals, however. The second way is to do a legit run, and we just have to roll an adventure, choose Lawson. In case you get the Palace Courtyard, you have to re-roll the adventure until you get the starting point of Moro Paris. If you have a friend, you can do this run much, much, much faster in case you use a small glitch. You go outside the asylum, you use a high five, and you can just pass by glitch through the door. You have immediate access to fight aberration and search for the simulacrum. This can make the run from 15 to 20 minutes to like three minutes. And this is by far the best way to farm simulacrums and corrupted luminary crystals. However, once again, it requires to have a group. If you don't have a group, you have to do the legit run. I personally like this method much more compared to the other two. For one simple reason, because the other two methods are most likely going to get patched as soon as possible. However, I don't believe this method is going to get patched and even if everything gets fixed or just hotfix or something like that, you can still use this with your friends or solo to run around, get the corrupt Illuminate Crystals, get Simulacrum and in the process you can also get a lot of materials, Galvanized Iron, Hardened Iron or if you're still leveling, Forged Iron or simply Iron. The method is simple, we follow the main storyline and we have to fight the first boss. You ignore as many enemies as you can, that's why we're running on the easiest difficulty. The two possible bosses here are Gwendiel and the Bloat King. After you defeat either of them, you will finally have access to the Asylum, after you walk a little bit further. You have to search here for the Simulacrum because there are three possible locations. The first location is on the basement, I usually follow this route to get all the materials I can get for green materials and a couple of chests. And here on the left you can find the first possible location for the simulacrum. The second possible simulacrum location is where we find the aberration upstairs. There inside the shed, after you kill the aberration, you can get a simulacrum in case you find it here. And after you kill this guy with the big chainsaw you get also your corrupted luminite crystals. Now in case you get really really unlike it, the simulacrum is upstairs. Get the key from the shed, really important, open the main gate, go upstairs and open this shortcut. Then you have to go upstairs once again and open the locked door using the key we got from the shed. The small upside is here on the left, there is a small chest with some little goodies. However, the simulacrum is on the first floor just jump from this window and outside you find the last location for the simulacrum. Now you can use the liquid essence for faster shed and rinse and repeat. In case you're hunting around some materials, I do recommend to have the scavenger bubble because this way you can pick up the materials faster and double the few scrap that you're going to get to just maximize your value. 
Otherwise, just keep resetting Lotion until you gain once again the Marrow Paris and rinse and repeat. And that was it for today's guide. I really hope this will help you maximize your farming methods for the corrupted Luminite Crystals and Simulacrum so you can maximize the number of Dragon Hearts and maximum level weapons you can get. Thank you very, very, very much for watching and until next time.